All right, y'all, in January, a woman sued Chris Brown for allegedly drugging and raping her. Now, alleged text messages between the woman and Chris Brown have been leaked, and people are questioning her story. The text revealed that the woman relocated to Los Angeles immediately after meeting Brown and sought to meet up with him at least four times in the last year. Now, one of the texts of Chris Brown reads, I have a question. Um, do you just be wanting to F me or can we hang out like on some chill shit during the day? I know you'd be busy and it's cool if you just want to F. I just want to know my role. Now, if these text messages are real, because nowadays, it's, I mean, you can doctor anything. Um, does this shine a different light on the story? Because, you know, this is a whole different twist. Q, I see you chomping at the bit. What do you think about this? Listen, that question has to be the most dumpiest, low self-esteem type of damn question. That question is such a turnoff to ask somebody. It screams. It screams. <laughs> I'll just, take anything. Right. It screams groupie. It screams um, that you were just an object used for service and that you're aware of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it screams you gave it up too easy. Um, it screams all that. And quite frankly, the text messages make you look like a whore. They do. And um, I think it's very messed up what you did to this boy. Granted, I, I don't have all the facts, but it's looking like you got mad because your ass got ghosted after you gave up the skins. And now you want to claim rape and all this type of stuff. And I think it's a special place in hell for women like you who completely undermine the Me Too movement and so on and so forth because you got screwed in Miami and you took that as license to move your ass halfway across the damn country and you thought Chris Brown was actually going to be with you? Like, really? Like, who is raising y'all whores? Uh, city girls down bad. We down bad. They down bad. I'm not a city girl. I'm, I'm a city mama. I'm not a city mama. I'm a city... Auntie, Al, what do you think about this story? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm torn here. Um, number one, great job, Chris Brown, um, because the one thing that you have to do in a civil case when you're being sued for twenty million dollars and you go in front of a jury is that you have to convince that jury you have to put in doubt in their mind, just a 1% of doubt in their mind that she is after you for the wrong reasons. And these text messages proves that 100%. And from what we understand, it proves this so much that the woman's lawyer has now withdrawn from the case. So she's going to have to go out and get her another lawyer because any lawyer that has this case knows that those text messages will introduce suspicion and second thought on whether or not she got raped or whether this is a ploy to get money from Chris Brown. But I am still going to say this, and I've said this every time we talk about him and Trey Songz or whoever, young, Black, successful men in the entertainment and sports industry, please stop putting yourself in these positions to have to defend yourself against sexual deviants and sexual assault cases. It's just not worth it. Please, please, please do better. I said it before. Some people came from my neck. Listen, y'all, you have a lot to lose. Why are you letting just any old chick off Instagram get that close to you to get your DNA? You got to convince her to take a plan B. And, and she's at, you're at her mercy. Now, I will say this, ladies that do this. I want to call you ladies, whores that do this. You, um... Real victims of sexual abuse, we have no love for you. You mess it up for the ones that have a real case. And mostly the ones that have real cases are too afraid to come forward because bitches like you mess it up for the ones that's telling the truth. So please knock it off. And I would like for them to enact a law, pass a law, a bill, where women that falsely accuse men of this, knowing it's false, that there's some kind of repercussions for this because the damage you do is not easy to just undo with the, I'm sorry, my bad. She they, hasn't should get, they should get whatever sentence that he would get had it been true. I agree. You're doing a lot of damage to the man and you're doing a lot of damage to your fellow women out there that are afraid to come forward for what you do, messing it up, crying wolf. Let's take a quick commercial break and we'll be back with more TGIF after this.